hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Some time ago, the news broke before that Tende um, Farotimi was arrested through the petition by the CEO of UBA, Tony Domendo, and police arrested him in Lagos. By the way, police invited him at 11 a.m. and he was there before 11 o'clock and um, they showed him the petition that the Tony, Tony Endomendo wrote against him. So he tried to defend himself and tell them that the petition is even business that um, if they don't agree with him, they should charge him to court. That is the right proceeding and that is what they supposed to follow. But that is not enough. He was arrested because it is the big masquerade in the menu that wrote the petition against him. And that is not enough. What happened again is that Nigerian government are not happy with Denefaro Timi because he speaks the truth. Every now and then, Denefaro Timi is just like a light in darkness. So he, he's a king's man, hates him, and they don't want to, they are just looking for a way to break him down. So Tony and Domendo writing petition against this man, they see it as an opportunity to break this man down. And that is opportunity that the government has taken now. Just imagine, Dende Farutini was arrested in Lagos State. You know what happened? They drove in through roads to Ogun State. What kind of abuse is that? What kind of uh, police, I don't understand, abuse of police power is that? They drove him to a kitty state. And sometimes people who are reading law, we need you people in Nigeria, but <laughs> Nigeria is a lawless country. It's a lawless country. And that is why everybody is looking for the quickest escape out of Nigeria. The Bia France has already left. Nobody has faith in Nigeria again. The Odudua has already left. They don't have faith in Nigeria. The North is even confused whether to leave or not to leave. Today they talk about, oh, this is Stars Bill. It will not favor us. We want to leave Nigeria. Tomorrow they say we are to. People are just confused in this country. What sort of nonsense is this? That just a petition against someone, you arrest him, you take him from one state to the other, undermining every protocol. Why can't you charge him to court and invite him to court? He will come to court and defend himself. Whatever the judge said, then it, it will happen. But no. No. That man is, uh, you know, is the kind of man that they don't want in Nigeria. He's, on, uh, you know, only speaking the truth. So this is an opportunity to just um, break him and make sure that uh, he did not speak the truth again. He was accused of siding bulls at the time. He was accused of trying to you know, cause tension in Nigeria before. And I think um, people are raising their voices for Dende Farotimi. Dende Farotimi is a very nice person. I love him personally because of the truth he normally speaks. Without fear of favor, he stands by what he believes. He stands by what he knows. One of the things that uh, someone, a politician sent me one of his videos when he said that uh, Nigeria is just like a hyena hypothesis. A hypothesis that you will always come to a failed conclusion. Yeah, a failed conclusion. That no matter what we do in Nigeria, that Nigeria is not going to work out well. That Nigeria is not a country. So maybe all those things, you know, they don't like people who speak the truth. They like those who continue to promote the falsehood we have been living since 1960. Right from the day... I was born, I started growing till the time I started, you know, having sense. You know what I mean? When I started knowing what is right and what is wrong, they have been telling us that Nigeria is going to get better. But I am already a middle-aged man, but <laughs> things are not getting better. All those things are falsehood, lies. Even when I was too religious, when we used to go to, you know, every day we are in the church, Catholic church, both morning mass, evening mass, and so on and so forth, we pray. Always for prayer for Nigeria in distress. We used to pray. But at the time, I started asking my something is wrong with me. Something is wrong with me because the country don't need prayer. The country need to disintegrate. Let everybody go and solve their problem. The problem in this country is too much. It's too much. The, the country have to disintegrate. Let everybody go and solve their own problem in their own way. We have no task, bad politicians from every angle. The Ibos, the Yorubas, the Joseph Fig, Benins, Ekas, Hausas, to mention but few, but Fudani. Every part of Nigeria, we have bad, bad people. 
we have good, good people. But you know what? When the bad people join together, they call them Kaba. They have the opportunity to do whatever they want to do. Then you can't do anything. Because these people are in the unity of evil. They are in the unity of destruction, the unity of sabotaging your progress. They are joined together. You can't win them. But when you disintegrate this entity, now you can face them one after the other, one after the other. And that is why no matter what you do, if your governor is not good, since he's paying allegiance to Abuja, if you do PEM, Abuja will send military after you. Abuja will send police after you. If you come out and you say, well, what your governor is doing is not good, your governor is embezzling money and so on and so forth, Abuja will send, you know, their military power against you. But just come to think of it. If your state is just your country, do you think that what is going on will go on? No, no. <laughs> no, it won't go on. Because, okay, let me give you an example. If southeastern Nigeria, southeast, if southeastern Nigeria is just like a, a country, the people will resist the government and put them in their pocket. Anybody that mess up, they will put the person in their pocket. But Abuja will always intervene. Send them in the trade. Abuja will always intervene, doing all unnecessary things against the people. If South East is just their own country, no politician will mess up. They, they will catch you with their hand. They will beat the hell out of you. No politician will embezzle their money and do all sort of things. But they do it because they know that Abuja is a backup. If you talk, they say you are, you are committing treason, you are doing this. I am just laughing the poor masses who don't know their left from their right. Because when you speak like this, they try to defend the government. Hello, you don't have passport. Even your country passport, you don't have it. But all of them have to do passports. They have to do passports. You don't have one at all. Now, most politicians, they have properties abroad. Go to London. The foreigners' houses in London... It is outnumber the citizens' houses, and majority of them are Nigerians. Go to Canada, US, these three countries, before you start talking about Italy, <laughs> so many other countries. Where is their doctor? Their doctor is always in abroad. Your president has their, his doctor in France and in London, and so on and so forth. They build hospitals, but their children can't go there. They can't go there. They build it for you, substandard. So their, their schools, your children can go to, you know, the schools their children are going because their children are in abroad. You can't afford it. They devalued Naira and they saved on that. The Naira they devalued. You can't make it up for you to go to school abroad. But they saved Naira, they saved on that, sorry, out of the Naira that they have and send their children abroad. When are we going to learn since? When are we going to learn? The issue of insecurity is something that we cannot even talk about. Because they are looking for, they will, anytime you are speaking the truth, they want to kill you. Anytime you speak for, they want to kill you. They don't want to hear, they don't want, they don't want to just see you talk. If you talk, you are in trouble. Don't speak. Only praise the evil in the country. That is where they will call you a good person. That is where they will call you a nice person. As far as you are speaking against evil in the country, you are an enemy. They see us as an enemy. But thank God that everything... I, I do say on this platform, I have a proof. However, if you like, have proof. If you don't like, don't have proof. When they are ready for you, they are ready for you. But the major thing is that we are not afraid to die. No. Not in this life. We are not afraid to die. So, no matter what happened, uh, Dele Faro Timi is not even afraid of intimidation, of arrest. You know. He has gone through all those things for a very long time. And this will not be a new thing, you know. I don't think that there is something I will see in life again that I've not seen before. So this is not the time for us to keep quiet at all. This is not the time for us to keep quiet. What the government is doing is something that we all must collectively resist. We must collectively resist it. So it's not something we should leave for one person. Because um, this is part of the things that is killing people who are resisting the government in Nigeria. If they arrest someone that came the Kano, some people will say, say Nam the Kano, what concerns me? You arrest another person. Is this person what concerns me? Tomorrow they'll come after you. Anyway, we are calling for the release of um, Dele Faro Timi. And we know what to do. If justice is not being done, we know what to do. Dele Faro Timi is a big, it's a big fish. It's not someone that uh, the system should mess up with because he stands for the truth. That makes him a big mate. He stands for the truth. So everyone, anyone that stands for the truth, 
I know the person and I'm going to I'm ready to give in everything for the person.